Yeah, so there it is. We got uh, the reverse gearbox that we're gonna try to throw on a 13 horsepower Predator. I uh, did a couple other videos and the one I did of the 40 series clutch uh, went okay, but the gear ratio is way wrong for this thing. So instead of doing a jack shaft, I said, ah, let me just, let's try this gearbox out. Um, but we found out like everybody else is saying that the diameter of this shaft is wrong. It's not 5 eighths, it's that, it seems like it's metric. So you can see the dial indicator in the back, if the light didn't, would cooperate. It's about, it's, uh, it's a couple of bristles of a inch too big. We need to get that down to like 0.624. So it fits in my uh, fits in my drill press. We're gonna try this out and see if we can get down to that to 6.25. So this is step one for your reverse go kart box. No matter where you get this thing from, it's the same one: eBay, Amazon, wherever, wherever you get it from, it's the same gearbox. Some people say five to eleven horse. Some people say five to thirteen. We're gonna strap it to a 420cc uh, Predator with a crazy, crazy low gear ratio because we're gonna do mainly Daddy. woods riding. Yeah, that's a, that's a diaphragm for a carburetor. We're gonna do some woods riding and we need a really, really small or low end gear ratio. We're gonna try to aim for about 40 or 50 to one. I didn't do any math. We're just gonna wing it. But I'm gonna put a 30 tooth on this guy. I'm gonna put a 30 tooth here from the torque converter, so from a 10 tooth to a 30 tooth, and then from a 10 tooth to like a 60 tooth. So we're gonna try that out. We'll make a couple of videos and stitch them together here. But this is uh, step one for your China reverse gearbox to make it 5 eighths. So here we go, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this guy on. And then all we're gonna do is hold the file against it. And work the file up and down get it to about 5 eighths. So that's all we're going to do. I'm going to continue doing that until I get it to 5 eighths and we'll pick up from there. Alright, and that wasn't that wasn't too bad, right Sal? It didn't take too long. Yeah, I got my uh, trusty machinist helper next to me. 623, 625, Six two three. That looks pretty good. It's not like we're building a race block. Six two one. So it grooved it up pretty good. We're just gonna take some uh, some sandpaper now, like a four hundred grit or so, knock off those edges, and then we'll see if the gear fits. What do you think? So that's we took off. I mean, it went pretty quick. About ten minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, and here's here's the finished product. So just so you could see, five eight shaft. Come on here. Look at that. That's pretty good. Now we just got to make sure that keyway still fits. I think it will. We'll see. But that was pretty easy. We just chucked that guy up, chucked him in the drill press, done. Nice and tight fit.